Yes, that's right. <laughs> this is one bush crafting item that I think surprises or maybe will surprise a lot of people that I like to use. And this right here is the 2750 by Benchmade and this is the automatic Adamus. Now I think that the Adamus knife as a whole isn't that surprising of a wilderness folder but the fact that it's an automatic probably surprises quite a few people because I think there's a notion especially just in general in the knife community or or in the community of knife enthusiasts that you know automatic knives are cool that you know they're fast they're snappy but you know they don't really have a place in the actual real world because they are unreliable or they're not robust or they you know have a tendency to fail if that is a factual statement and i think a lot of these things uh, are true about earlier automatic knives but as technology progresses obviously this becomes less and less quite the case so the automatic adamus i have talked about being my alaskan wilderness folder and the primary reason i like the automatic kind of essence of this knife is the fact that here in alaska we do have the special ability uh, or i don't know if it's entirely special but there's a lot of states uh, in the u.s where automatic knives like real automatic knives not california legal autos uh, are you know uh, restricted and you can't just walk down the street with this knife and that is something pretty cool and pretty special about Alaska is that we actually do have the legal ability to carry and use and own and all that uh, real automatic knives like the Auto Adamus. So I think it's pretty special uh, the fact that we have that ability and that's personally the reason why I first chose the Auto Adamus. But the fact that I chose the Adamus is really because it's a pretty stout and pretty able backup knife. So, you know, if for whatever reason my main blade fails or if I'm just looking for a blade to kind of share the workload of camp tasks this blade can easily do that and I think that you know some people might make the argument you know why not a Swiss Army knife why not you know this or that tool and I think that it kind of goes back to yes a Swiss Army knife can certainly do everything this can do a Leatherman can do everything this can do and probably a few things more but I think it's about having some character to your kit having some level of personality you know if we all carried Swiss Army knives I think it'd be kind of boring that's why I ultimately made this or in making this video is to talk about you know personal choice and you know choosing what excites you what motivates you what you personally like you know we all are enthusiasts of the outdoor passion you know going outside and doing the many different things we do and so we should carry gear that you know we also enjoy you know for seeking outdoor wilderness because we enjoy it we should carry and utilize the gear that we enjoy and I certainly like my Swiss Army knives and I like my Leathermans and I like my Bark River Knives Bushcrafter and many other tools but I also love you know having a good old automatic kicking around and something that's not just fun to use and fun to own but something that's reasonably functional so this can serve as a very good you know very sturdy and solid backup to a fixed blade that I might carry on any given day but it also is just a fun tool that excites me and uh, that I enjoy using and just enjoy playing with and like I said whether I'm sitting around a kind of campsite carving with it or whether it's actually serving a purpose of skinning or gutting a game animal or getting stuff ready to get cooked up you know this tool serves those functions just fine it's also just a fun tool in general um, like I said it's definitely something that I enjoy and it's something that's pretty easy to just throw in a pocket and not necessarily forget about because this tool is pretty heavy and maybe not pretty heavy it's actually not that heavy but it's noticeable and you know it's uh, certainly a you know full-size knife but it gets the job done and it actually works very well so definitely something that like I said a lot of people won't necessarily agree with or won't necessarily like you know they're going to be like oh why aren't you carrying that Swiss Army knife or why aren't you carrying you know that Condor Pterosaur I certainly do carry those tools as well but I also like to mix it up and once again carry the things that I like to carry it's about having fun in the wilderness not just always playing by the rules you know have fun test things and do things because you enjoy them and not just because they make sense I guess is the kind of moral of the story so 
if this if this knife surprised you, then that's great. If it didn't surprise you, then that's also great. Uh, like I said, it is my Alaskan Wilderness folder, uh, and I made a video to kind of discussing why I chose this blade uh, for that reason. I think that those reasons still apply here. This is a very built-up, very thick, maybe uh, like kind of industrial-grade typed knife, you know, with a sturdy axis lock but at the same time being an automatic, being fast and easy to open, even with gloved hands, which I don't have gloves on at the moment, but certainly does fit the bill pretty well. And like I said, uh, it's also a very functional tool. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And above all else, I hope that this video inspires you to kind of break the chain or break the rhythm of doing what everyone else does. You know, everyone carries a Swiss Army knife. Everyone carries, you know, your basic standard stuff. And for good reason, those are good tools. Don't get me wrong. You know, a lot of people give me hell for not using more Victorinox, but you guys know or hopefully you guys know that I own quite a few and that, you know, I do regularly field them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed looking at this beautiful blade if you are just a blade connoisseur. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say, guys. As always, God bless, and I'm out.